Okay, as you can see, we've sorted things out in the break. I have a sprite again. So that's kind of cool. Pretty excited about that, to be honest with you. Anyway, we're still working on our team. As a reminder, that's where we're sitting at, because it's been a couple weeks. Some pretty cool Pokemon. I'm fans of all of these. Now the question is, how much longer can we go without a glitch? And I don't have the answer to that for you, but we're going to try our hardest. Sage Nico gonna have very different things than he normally should. A Flygon? Uh, Umbreon, we're trying to get you stronger, but I don't think I want you fighting this at level 4, even though it's level 3. I don't know that we have a choice but to go to the big guns here. Flygon's pretty good. The question's gonna be what attacks he has, and we just have no way of knowing. It is kind of telling, though. Bone Rush does get stabbed for Flygon. Not doing that much damage. Spikes is actually really annoying for what we're trying to accomplish at the moment, too. I want to keep switching, but then they're going to keep taking damage. Now, the damage isn't that bad, but it's annoying, okay? All right, Umbreon, I'm gonna hope that you can take this on by yourself. They're gonna take some damage on entry, it's okay. Watch how little damage this is. Eh. You know, one eight. It's okay. I think payback's gonna be better, even though we're not gonna go second. Speed up is gonna do about the same, I think. It'd be six times 10, and this is 60. But we're not going to mess around with the time that takes. We're just going to go ahead and hit it with Payback. We're really hoping that our Pokemon can do work against these trainers because there's the boost to experience, and we like that idea. I mean, you killed the first one so well, why not stick with it? What? <laughs> well, that turn went about as poorly as it possibly could have. <laughs> now, luckily, I don't think it's going to matter, but still, we don't want... I, I, okay, we don't want things like that to happen, but they're going to, so I guess it's better to happen here than in, say, a gym battle against something that's super strong. Still. Umbreon one-shot the first Dratini. Leveled up to get a little bit stronger, and then didn't one-shot the second. <laughs> And then the 10% chance of all stats raising on Ancient Power Tripped, so, you know. Oh yeah, sure, a Max Potion in the first dungeon area of the game, why not? It's such a wistful song. So I think we've figured out what we're going to be encountering in this particular place. I think this is supposed to be like... Ghastlies and... Haunters? Something like that? I actually don't remember for sure. Or are they all bell sprouts? I don't know. A little disappointing that we can't kill these in one hit, but not the end of the world. Umbreon's offenses are good enough that even if we have to eat an attack, just the one... It's not too bad. Mm, that experience, dough. <laughs> 4 HP this level. I'll take it. At least plus 2 and everything else, too. This Umbreon might be carrying us Dragonite. <laughs> uh, you stay put. There's spikes out, and... I'm hoping you can two-shot a level 3 Dragonite. But I'm still worried. Ah, yes. Aeroblast. 
I believe that's Lugia's move. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so you're seeing the horrors that we can encounter here. I do like how quickly this came from hold Umbreon's hand to level two. Don't worry about it. Umbreon's good fire punch. Interesting. It's a nice solid move, actually. It's not uh, the best for our purposes right now, and I say that only because we already have a fire attack, and we're missing several other type coverages, but, I mean, if you're asking me if I'm complaining about fire punch at this level, the answer is no. No. <laughs> well, this is a much bigger concern in, like, constructed play. We actually still outspeeded it. Mm. Outsped? I don't know. Still, until you remember that's only level 3, it gives you pause when a Salamence uses a dragon dance. Yeah, sure. Fine. Great. There's a much more traditional item for here. After this battle, I'll probably be switching Dialga. <laughs> um... Okay, so here's the concern. I don't... This is where I'm only going off of memory. I don't have any guides open, like most of our playthroughs. I don't think Steel resists Dark anymore as of Gen 6. But I think it does back here. So we're going to have to go Fire Punch, hope the Steel Dragon thing just leaves it neutral, and see what damage it does. Okay. This is actually good, too, because... Yeah, it, well... <laughs> Bird has the potential to reduce the physical damage we would have taken there. And the critical hit went we kind of messed that up. Still, Dialga. Dialga. Good work, Umbreon. You're doing it. Oh, yeah, sure. Just, just Rayquaza. <laughs> Well, uh, I have a star you. So that's cool. Yeah, no, just just Rayquaza, yeah. I, I'm really just doing this for the experience. I probably shouldn't be. Let's just go ahead and switch key. Dance is not a great choice here. But let's see how poor this damage is. Eh. I guess let's see. If, if I'm right, this is gonna do nothing, then well, I'm locked into it. Okay. Not so bad. I mean it's got really high base attack and a stab, so. At this level, again, the exception we have to keep making. That's not bad. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's try and get Star you some more. I like Staryu, but he is way behind the team right now. We got some evolved stuff. And even Togepi, well not All-Star, is a good level. By the way, that was not what Latias was supposed to have. My my stats, you, you've ruined them. Yeah, right back to me, just so held it. Um, 
I'm gonna start using lack of a water attack right now. Well, not in this particular fight, because they're dragons. Just overall, kind of hurting right now. Dragon Pulse, a good move. Luckily, again, the level gap, because... Latias' special attack? Hmm. Well, this place has turned out to be a little more difficult than I might have expected. We're kind of fortunate that we're not dealing with the traditional elemental starter here, because all of them would probably be in jail, which is to say, locked out of moves hitting very well, against most of these dragons, and we still have more to go. Now this is randomized, as you've probably noticed, to the tune of the same types in similar areas. That's why we encounter the same wild Pokemon in each region, in each area, each route, whatever, as we go. But it's also meant to keep it so that the G, uh, the G's? The G's! The gyms have a theme. Don't you see a gym theme? Theme. That's what happened in my brain. So whatever Falconer is going to be rocking here when we go pay him a visit, very unlikely to be flying. But possible. Oh. This little squirt sure made me hurt. Sir, whatever you're doing with your spare time in the bedroom, I don't need to know about. Thank you. Please be considerate. Yeah, sure. Turns out we actually have an okay method for this. Except beat up, unfortunately, is not a traditional dark attack. So this is doing nothing. And he's got the shadow force attack. Does this work? Indeed, his kind of special disappear and then come back and strike. It is Shadow Force and this does block it. Well, maybe paralyzing it would be good. We might be in for the long haul here. We don't really have an answer for Ghost Dragon. Not now that we're out of paybacks. Because who would have thought, you know, Giratina? Uh, yeah. Let's just see how much damage this does. Possible that Giratina has nothing but ghost attacks. That did not do very good damage. Will Glare work, or is this going to get dodged because it's a normal attack? Again, I'm tripping up my versions here. Okay. Good. Uh... I don't even know if Poison Sting is going to be that worth it. I guess we're going to try more pedal dancing. It's the hardest hitting thing we got, even though it's going to be resisted a bit. The concern about this, of course, is we're going to use it. We're going to get locked in, and that's going to let Shadow Force come back into play because we can't switch back to Togepi. Okay. Paralysis hasn't actually done anything, but it may have guaranteed us a first turn somewhere in there. We probably would have been going first anyways, but what the hell. It was nice to play it safe. Hmm, free attack. So it doesn't really excel at anything, but as a fully evolved Pokemon at this stage of the game, his stats are going to be quite acceptable, for sure. This is not something we need to do, but we're going to anyways. You also may have noticed the rival up at the top left of the screen, and uh, yeah, that's a thing. Halteria. 
We still have no answers for any of these things. Snow warning. Well, that sucks. Uh... Oh, okay. Just to answer two questions for myself. One, I had the mistake of thinking that, you know, this is a regular full team situation because I have an Umbreon. So beat up is not as strong as payback, even if it, if, you know, if we had six people, it'd be six times ten is sixty. We don't, we have four. Also, Dragon Rage. So I was thinking, do I have the power to go ahead and finish this off? And the answer is looking like no, no, I should probably plan on going and healing before I finish this place off. By the time Altaria is done with me. And he outspeeds Togepi. Well. We might be taking a trip back to the Pokemon Center of not my own volition. At least the hail keeps doing work. Staryu's not going to outspeed. So my best chance is this Venusaur, who even if he had max health, would not be fast enough. Metal Dance does get off, but this is Dragon Flying. It was a critical hit, it didn't kill. So unless Staryu can outspeed, this Altaria is not going to die, because the final hail damage won't kick in until we're a corpse. These are the type of things you could run into, though, in randomized. God, we suck. Fury Attack does go first. It has to hit twice. Oh my god, Staryu, you're the real MVP. This might even be two levels. I don't know. Learn a water attack. No! Oh, it's not the only Pokemon. Oh, I missed saw the thing in the beginning. Or is it? No, it is. It's not. Um, okay, Bagon, a lot more, um... How do you say? Doable? <laughs> I'd like to fade some paralysis here. Well... Dare to dream. <laughs> I have to give some serious thought here to Aqua Ring, and I also have to give some serious thought to Withdraw. Aqua Ring's gonna be like 1 HP per turn, though, at this level, at this HP. Okay, we need as many hits as humanly possible. So the next one's also going to need four or five. How much is Hill doing to us? One. So we can try to stick this out. We're going to have to heal after next turn, but Dragon Breath's been doing seven. Hill is one. Obviously a critical hit messes us up, but sometimes that happens. We're not going to plan on it. Now we still need this to hit four times. Or crit. Woohoo, we didn't. It was just enough. I guess the hail also would have done it. Still. Ugh. Your trust is real. Uh, sir, if you'll just excuse me, I'm just going to be running for my ever, uh, ever loving life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon Rage, man, it gets you every time. You guys, tower's lovely. Um, I just, I, it's just my Pokemon are bleeding everywhere, so I, I kind of need to go take a, care of this. You guys understand, right? I mean, you watched. I can point on the doll where the Altaria touched me if it'll help you feel better. I... He got me good, okay? <laughs> There's joy! They're dying! <laughs> I have to admit, though, I was just down playing Staryu's abilities and he... 
He did good. He came through for us. 